right, now that I'm home, I'm going to do a quick little video of the recap of my drive back home from San Diego. And just kind of little tidbits there. I apologize ahead of time because I did them all vertically. So, you know, like that. So, because uh, um, I was planning on doing shorts on the way home, but I just wanted to get home. But I'm going to put a compilation together and put it into one video. So, here we go. It's official. I can now legally do 65 or more miles per hour because I am officially in Arizona and out of California. I'm talking about to get gas in Welton, Arizona. And apparently they think they're California. Luckily, I don't actually need gas. I just kind of stopped to go to the bathroom. But yeah, I'm not getting gas here when it's 369 everywhere this else. Is something I don't like to do, and that's from the tank almost empty. It's only 36 miles to go because Chevron wants almost California prices out here. Between Yuma and Gila Bend, it was $5. So I figured I'd wait till I get to, she to Shell and hopefully it's cheaper. So, but I gotta fill up somewhere. The price has gone up in the last two days, it's crazy. There's a view of the uh, mountain on the way up to Flagstaff. Site. So what we got coming up here is Meteor City Road. Not exactly sure what it means, but we got this weird little dome thing over here. And that is Meteor City. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's it. good time till this road construction yeah it says speed limit 55 but we can't even go 10 so I'm not sure why it's slowing down so much I'm sure they closed off the lane there's only one lane up here somewhere if I were to guess but uh, we'll see hopefully it doesn't last too long yep it was a down to one lane thing so we'll see if it picks up once everybody gets into the one lane well, you can smell the brakes of all the semis up here. It's awesome. Hopefully that ain't me. <laughs> so I can already see the end of it down there. I don't know if you can see it from here or not, but it's only about a, less than a mile, I'd say. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing it wrong. That looks like it goes a little bit up over the hill. Oh, well. Yeah, I was actually right. It wasn't that far. So it's already done. Cool. Back on schedule. This is a pretty cool view out here. This is New Mexico, just outside of Grant. Pretty nice. Lots of good views around here. Well, up again outside uh, Grant, New Mexico. I'm trying to make it to Texas tonight, so at least the gas prices are back down, down to 329. So I'm happy about that. But uh, it is only 86, though. It's weird. You know, 86, 88, 91 here. But uh, the truck don't need anything better than 86. It works pretty good. So I like this. Pretty good security here. Able to pack back the truck into this little area here. And no way somebody could take the trailer without taking the truck. So pretty happy about that. I to check tires and everything tomorrow because something ain't right. It's shaking pretty bad. Oh, well, I'm in my hotel room here in uh, Tumacari, New Mexico, I think it's called. I'm not sure exactly. And uh, this is my view from the hotel room. <laughs> right out in the parking lot. But it's got good shade, so I don't really care. And if people really want to watch me in my, in my room, you know, they're the sick ones, not me. But anyways, so I got my, uh, I'll be uh, getting breakfast and taking a shower and hitting the road. And I should be home by noon, so it'd be pretty nice. Get that truck or get that Camaro home and see what's wrong with it. But until then i'll see you later all right i'm getting ready to leave my hotel i checked the tires checked the straps this is where i stayed last night pretty nice and time to hit the road for about 280 some miles and hopefully be home by noon so the only place we might slow down a little bit is amarillo if there's construction there but everything else should be fine looks like another windy day so we'll be fighting that a little bit but other than that Hopefully it should be a smooth ride home. So let's get moving. So just real quick, 
on my way out to San Diego, I had to deal with freaking headwinds. I was hoping by the time I got back, I'd have tailwinds. Well, yeah, that didn't happen. It's blowing right in my face again and slowing me down. But it is what it is, so. But I only got about 250 miles to go, so I'm good to go and happy about that. Can't wait to get home. Oh, yeah, one more thing. You know the old adage, you know, our parents always say, you had to walk uphill both ways to school in the snow. Well, the only thing that's missing here is the snow because we are literally going uphill both ways. We'll go up, then we'll go back down. We'll go up, and we'll go back down. So we literally are going uphill both ways. I thought maybe on the way back we'd be going downhill, but nope, we're going uphill too. So, yeah, just a little rant. So I don't know how well it's going to come out in the video, but this is a pretty, pretty nice countryside. Just a thought. Thanks for watching. Yeah, there's some more than wind machine, machines that Texas needs to turn off. Well, at least took flip them around so they're pointing east. So they can help blow me to. That didn't sound good. But it helped me with my trip home with a tailwind. All right, so we just had to stop, I don't know, maybe 50 miles from the border of Oklahoma. Uh, typically, I get about 300 and almost 400 miles to uh, a tank of gas. This trip's brought it down to. On this last leg, 271, I went 184 miles and had to put gas in. And when I started, it was at 340 something. So, yeah, that sucks. Well, looky there. We are home. Back to Oklahoma. Woo! So, about 30 miles ago. So it's hard to believe that two years ago, almost to the day, it's June 3rd will be the actual day, well, June 2nd, technically, was the first time we exited this exit here. And I pulled over, I was in a moving truck. I pulled over to celebrate finally being off the 40 after being on the 40 for so long in that moving truck. My wife didn't, have any, didn't want anything to do with it, but I, I'll show you where I pulled over not realizing where we were at. But I pulled over right here, right in front of this building. And right up here is the prison. So not a good idea to pull off right next to the prison. But I did it. And uh, my wife just told my son who was driving at the time, just go leave him. And they took off and headed to the house. So and that's where I'm going now. And I'll see you when we get to this. Beautiful countryside. One of the reasons why I really love it. This is a good time of the year because it's nice and green. Everything's growing. All right, we're coming into my town. This is Carter, Oklahoma. And I don't actually live in town. I live way out in the country. So I don't get to see where I live, obviously, but you get to see where when I get home. But uh, yeah, so this is our little town. It's a little one, one street light town. And I'll show you up here. There's our little store. Coming up here is our one stop light in the town. And it's also a stop sign. That's oh, busy today. What the heck? Here's a stop sign, stop light. 
There used to be a little diner right down here. Unfortunately, the owner died and nobody's taking it over yet. But that's our water district. And then we have our trash up here and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we have a beauty salon. That somebody opened recently, right there. But that's pretty much it for Carter. I'll see you when we get to the house. Well, I was hoping to make it home before noon. It's 12.02, but I also forgot about the, uh, we, we lost an hour on the way here, so. Technically it's 11.02 from when I left this morning. But, yep, it is 12.02 and almost made it before noon. Oklahoma time. Let's just get this thing parked and uh, I'm not gonna unload it yet, but we will. And there you have it. The Camaro's back in Oklahoma. I got figure out what the heck's wrong with it. So we can start driving it again. All right, so that was all uh, the trip all the way from San Diego back to Oklahoma. So I got the trailer set up, ready to unload the Camaro, but I'll do a separate video for that. So if you like this video, go down and leave a like down there. Leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do, what I can do better. I can't talk right now because I'm tired. But subscribe while you're at it too. So until next time, I'll see y'all later.